Story you will only see on Local 10 tonight, a hack attack at a famed local car dealer. And we're talking about Bremen Motors. Local 10 News reporter Chris, uh, Christina Vasquez is live now with the exclusive for us. Christina. Sources are telling us that Bremen Motors has been the subject and the target of a sophisticated cyber attack. But the company is describing what it's going through as a network outage. We had a, I guess a cyber attack. Local 10 sources tell us a hacker is holding Bremen Motors data hostage for money. The whole system of Bremen crash. We got a ransom note from the hackers. They took the whole system out and they, they asked for money. That Bremen employee says this notice flashed on some dealership computers. The date on the photo, April 15th. The message on screen, we infiltrated your network, downloaded sensitive information with a promise to unlock the compromised data for a ransom. Adding, don't panic. We are doing business, not war. We want to keep it quiet because I think they got the FBI involved. FBI Miami will not confirm or deny the existence of an investigation. Do you know if customer information is at risk? Oh, yeah. Everything is at risk. Everything. The company's general counsel did not address questions about whether customer data has been compromised. In a statement telling Local 10 News they experienced a, quote, network outage, which is currently impacting our operations. We are working diligently to restore systems at our dealerships as quickly and safely as possible. Our investigation into this matter is ongoing. Did you hear any about, anything about that? that? That is true. The process took longer than it normally should, but they still made it happen. Excited for the new Blue Beamer, Tiffany and Joe share what staff told them. They said their systems have been down since yesterday and they're working to get them back up. And again, the company has not stated at this point in time whether any customer data has been compromised. Reporting live for you in Miami, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.